Martinez is five years older. He's one inch taller. Both made the contract weight of 130 pounds. Both weighted at 129, and the reach goes to Martinez. Martinez will by far be the bigger guy <laughs> in the ring tonight. I don't have the exact weights about what they're coming in, but oh, there, there is no doubt that he put on much more weight than, than what Lomachenko is going to be bringing into the ring. But, this but is... let's see how he's going to use that reason. Oh, for sure. Martinez, 29 pounds, 2 inches seventy KOs. Lomachenko, you know, he just turned pro. He was an amateur for so long. He's 28 years of age. He was 395 and one as an amateur. So you can't look at that as saying inexperienced. It's just that now he's made the transition to the professional ranks. And beautifully, and beautifully. He, the way that he boxes and moves and punches and his footwork, I mean, it's just, it, it's something for the purest of boxing fans to enjoy and really respect. Well, when you have 300 and something fights, I mean, you're a professional already. I mean, this guy is for everybody. And, you know, when you fight these other uh, Cubans and, and all these other, these guys got this much fight and much experience. So he's, he's been there, he's, he's done that. So this is just another homework for him, another and, work. And moving up in weight, and yeah. he captured the title at 126. Now looking after a second title and only seven fights at 130. But even as an amateur, he fought many, many guys that were much, much bigger than him. So it's not that it's a, a huge advantage for Rocky coming in being the bigger fighter because this is something that Lomachenko was used to. Yeah. Lomachenko, I mean, is like Pacquiao was 106 pounds. Can you believe him going to the sure. 147 pounds? I couldn't even believe that. But he carried the, the punch of power and everything all the way through his life. And here's Rocky, not in Philadelphia, but in New York. Time defending world champion, and now he's defending the WBO Junior Lightweight title. Been a pro for 14 plus years, 238 rounds. Christina, this is the amazing stat, 97 championship oh, rounds. Yeah. I mean, he comes in here with so much experience, but along with that experience, it's a good from Madison Square Garden, New York City, New York, USA. This is the main event of the evening. And it's all brought to you by Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated, along with PR Best Promotions. And it's sponsored by Tecate, Barn, Bowl, Anta Sporting Goods, and Crawford Burns, Virgil Busto, live on HBO Pay-Per-View, July 23rd. But this is it, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, acting executive director, Eric Bentley. And the World Boxing Organization, WBO President Francisco Paco Barcarcel. The three judges scoring will be Carlos Ortiz, Robin Taylor, and Don Trello. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Danny Chivon. And now, from Madison Square Garden, the mecca of boxing here in New York City, and for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world live on HBO, with dedication to the greatest of all times, Muhammad Ali. Uh, let's get Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue with yellow, official weight, 129, one half pounds. This two-time Olympic gold medal champion now has a gold record, standing at five victories, three knockouts to his credit, only one defeat from Ackerman, Ukraine. He's the challenger, and he's the WBO featherweight champion of the world, Dami Gaspar. Vasil Hartek Lomachenko! And his opponent across the game, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red with blue, officially weighing in at 129, three quarter pounds. His professional record, 29 victories, including 17 wins by knockout, 15 defeats, three draws, there.
As we mentioned earlier, Lomachenko, Lomachenko's only loss as a professional was to Orlando Salido. Rocky Martinez has fought Salido twice in two what could have been considered fight of the year candidates or, or winner. Rocky uh, winning one and then getting a draw in the other. So that's how he was able to maintain that title that they're fighting for right now tonight. But it, it's different styles because you see Salido is coming to fight. This guy is coming to fight, but also has like, lateral movement. So the way oh, he's well, doing it. His footwork is, is tremendous. Right, and fast. Rocky trying to get that straight right hand out there. Well, he's been a little gun shy thus far. Backing up, trying to prepare defensively for the way Lomachenko stares him down. Martinez telling me in the meetings yesterday that he feels he has the advantage in strength, power, and experience when asked what he brings to the table. Well, right now it looks like uh, Machenko has his strength because he's been pushing him, he's been pushing him around. But uh, this is the way Martinez fights all his fights. I mean, he looks like a rag going back. Nice combination, straight left hand got through by Lomachenko. He takes that right hand and he like moves it around almost in a dizzying fashion. <laughs> well, he's doing that so far. And now you see me, now you don't. Right. That's that a low blow. That was a low blow. It was, it was thrown by Martinez. And Martinez, when asked if he was going to try to make it a dirty fight, make it kind of like what Salido did to Lomachenko, he said, I'm not a dirty fighter. That's not in my game plan to make it a dirty fight. But that's the second I've seen that's been a little bit low. So maybe he's saying that so that nobody looks for it ahead of time. But obviously, against Salido, it worked in terms of the judges. But sometimes on, on the way they, 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 he, he's got long arms and the way he tries to shoot his punches, they might go a little low. And Lomachenko's going down. Because Lomachenko's going down. Yep. That straight left is getting through by Lomachenko. And Rocky is, is really playing the role of counterpuncher and finally throws a right hand. But he's counterpuncher, counter, counterpuncher without throwing the punch. Right. But you see, if you jab a lot to, to a south board, you're going to get hit. So instead of jabbing a lot, fake the jab with him with a left hook, you know, but step, you got to put your, your foot right there in front of his right. And punch, that's it, punch him there. And keep making him turn, though. Don't let him go the other way. Like right there. He's still there. He shouldn't stay there. Very quick and elusive as Lomachenko. And he caught Rocky a little too older as he made his move. He just slides one way and punches you from the other angle. Oh, yeah. You're right, Christina. He, he made a tremendous quick move there, too. You, 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 saw, you saw that that, that move right there. Now I know that say I'm up and from Rocky. I know he makes that move now. So now when I see anything going like that, what I would do, I would stick my hand out and pull him. You know, so because I know he's like a guard, right. almost like a hand check in right. basketball, right? Right, so I stop him to, and then bring him back. Because he had him on skates for a second, turning him right around. He really did that. That second time when you were talking about his footwork, he did it again, almost jumped over his back like an acrobat, like the old Argentina Apollo in wrestling days. I mean, it was so quick and so swift and so athletic. Good combination, they all went in. And I, I, that's what I want to see the, the, the movement. See right there. That, Turn. Yeah. You know, and you have to be, if you're Rocky, you have to be very thoughtful in terms of what's coming next because as soon as he turns, he's throwing on the, on yeah. the, on the spin. This, is, this, is, where, this is where a smart fighter, is, you, you can tell who's a smart fighter, you understand? Yeah. Well, if you're a smart fighter, you will know what to do in the next one. But sometimes they just shut down. Rocky never saw that one. I think Rocky would like to be engaged in a war rather than trying to but solve gotta, the mystery. You got to make it a war to, to really be in there. Meaning he's got to let his hands go. He's yes. got to use more of yes. his offense as his defense. All he has to do is he's going, he's trying to do it, but he's taking too long to do it. That's the right hand he's supposed to do. Move that leg with the hand, but. And, and then come with the hook. 
Or bring him over. If, he, if that's not working, you bring him over with your hook so you can hit him with your right hand. To get him right hand. Nice combination by Lomachenko. Short, crisp, left and right combo. Now he's peppering the jab. Instead of leading with the left hand, which he did early, now he's leading with the jab. There's the lead with the left hand. They asked him to jab, but I, I don't think it's the right thing right now to do. He's going to hit, get hit with a straight left if he sweep that jab. Nice swift move again. Let me check the three punch combination on a spinning turn move. Martinez trying to move his head a little bit. Stop or something. Lomachenko throws the jab again after setting the jab up with a straight left hand, which is a little bit opposite of what we see in textbook fighting. There's a short uppercut that landed by Lomachenko. Rocky comes back with a right. That's the right hand he should be shooting all night. Now Rocky doing a little bit of chasing. That's the right hand. He's got to be putting that right hand. And the crowd wants him to do a little bit more offensive fighting, but he's got to catch it first. Lomachenko catches him with a combination. Short, crisp, left, 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 left. <laughs> now you're here, now you're not. Rocky gets in on the short left hook. Oh, oh straight left hand by Lomachenko on the button right before the bell. And he stops and admires. Uh, he, he, yeah. And a little bit of swelling around the eyes now of Martinez. So Lomachenko starting it out in this round. Well, the 14, did you see that? That two punches, yeah. they were thrown within a blink of an eye. That's, that's that straight one. He knew he caught him good. He just walked right back. Yeah, yeah. He heard the bell. He yeah. knew. Yeah. Lomachenko is looking to set a new record and become a two-time world champion, the shortest period ever. Seven professional fights. Eight is the record. Japan, Naoya Inoue, the reigning junior bantamweight title holder, needed eight. Lomachenko looking to make it its seven. He already wants the WBO featherweight championship. Now he's stepping up in weight to 130 for the first time. And thus far, it's been a pretty good show by Lomachenko. Martinez landing a couple of punches. He's going to have to go after him one. Yes, no, definitely. I'm telling you, right now, you should be using that left hook. Forget about that jab. Stop walking that side and stop throwing that hook. Make him turn to you. And then you can hit him with the right hand. Good walk. He's not doing it, dude. He should be walking this way. Let him out, What's let this? him out, let him out. Step back. To the body goes Martinez. You can hear that body blow. It's good. Solid. That's a stop. Left hand, short left hand by Lomachenko. Got in there. It's like it's, it's wide open. That right hand is too low for Rocky Martinez. He's hitting that. It's not even. It's like straight down the way, straight down the pipe. No problem. Lomachenko chops away at the midsection. Midway through the fourth round. Scheduled for 12. And he's letting Lomachenko dictate the distance. When he wants to come in, he comes in. When he wants to stay out, he stays out. He's not applying the 
the pressure or shortening the distance like he like Rocky should. Well, Rocky is right now he's confused a, a, a little bit on what this guy's going to be. He's got to forget about where he's going to be, and he's got to try to do what he's supposed to do. Man, is to that was close to the belt. That left hand by Lomachenko. Now he's upstairs. Straight left. Now Peppering doubling up on the chin and following up with a straight left hand. Lomachenko is putting out an exhibition in this round. And he spoke of his chance to make history tonight. Now you can see. You can see why his promoter was not scared to put him into a world title. Four haymakers in this round. And Rocky didn't like to get too much to the body either. <laughs> I, I you know, noticed in other fights too, but he's tough, but he do not like to get in <laughs> Best round yet for Lomachenko. Let's see if you can listen in in the corner and see what they're going to tell Rocky. Slides right to the other side. There's another one right there, right down the pipe. That that left is going straight in. He's yep. shooting that, that like, like a target. Boom! Target practice. They tell him to shoot that straight right hand. Bruce Beck, Juan Laporte, Christina Poncher, ringside at the theater, Madison Square Garden, New York City. Round number five. Roman Rocky Martinez, Vasil Lomachenko, junior lightweight title on the line of the WBO. Lomachenko looking for his second title in just seven pro fights after an incredible amateur career which included a 395 and one record of a two-time Olympic gold medal performance. The guy he lost to, he went back and beat him twice after that. <laughs> he, he got his revenge, didn't he? Yeah. And the amateur won. And the amateur. Oh. <laughs> the guy's still in amateurs. That guy doesn't want to see no. him ever again. <laughs> he said thank you to Lomachenko when he decided to turn around. Lomachenko landed another bar with the left hand. Oh. Another bar. Nice. Rocky scared. That's a knockout. I didn't think there was any way in the world he was getting up after that. Yeah. 
What a show by Lomachenko. And there's the victory celebration. Here's Michael Buffer. At one minute, nine seconds, round number five here at Madison Square Garden. The winner by knockout victory, now a two-time world champion and the new WBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Domingos Bada Vasil High Tech Lomachenko. There is out of his reach. You talk about the 126 pound division, he wants to unify that. Lee Selby, Leo Santa Cruz, Gary Russell Jr., the 130 pound division, Jose Pedraza, Jezreel Corrales, Francisco Vargas. If you're talking unification, he's the guy. Here's some of the highlights of this bout. We thought that Rocky Martinez would be a very willing opponent, but he was dominated this one right to the outside. Uh, definitely, I mean, you know, I mean, he's trying to figure this thing out. All he had to do is, 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 is stay on his, on his game plan and move, you know, to that exactly the side so he, he could connect the punches. If I would have been Rocky right there, I would have been putting him up in my lap. So make him turn it over. Look at Martinez trying to get out of trouble. Can, and that two punch combination was history. He's got amazing speed. This just, just with such explosiveness. You know, like boxing you know, is one, it's one thing to have fighters, skills boxing and boxing together, ability, but then to have power the too. Fighters. That's a good combination. Yes. I want to line up all the best fighters in 130 and see who the best fighter is. So the ring, the scene with Lomachenko up there. He made his debut tonight at 130 pounds. You think he likes it, Juan? I think he loves it. You know, I mean, though, and, and it was so easy for him. So, you know, he's making it easier for himself. So I think he's. we're going to see a lot. Don't forget July 23rd, we've got another great fight coming up. Terrence Bud Crawford and Victor Postal, MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. That's one that I, I think people are gonna look forward to. Oh, definitely, Two this Terrence guys. Crawford is gonna be an, an, another one that's gonna be another superstar. When you talk about Excitement when you talk about you know pure action. We got two knockouts in the last two fights that were really riveting stuff. Right, uh, they they were amazing. This is you know Felix Beldejo came out there. But everything was sharp for him. Everything worked, and yet, you know it was a matter of time. And he and he caught him. This kid here is just his work. He kept doing what he was supposed to do, and. and he didn't even expect it right, right away like that, but he got it. The, the rare blend of, of tactical skill and, and punching power, you don't see it very much. Juan, right. you fought some of the greatest fighters in the world. But my question for you is, we haven't seen one like this in a while, right? Right. I mean, this, you remember that kid, um, Frias, or whatever his name from um, Brazil, that he came out knocking everybody out. We haven't seen somebody like that until now that we see Triple G, you know, and just touching guys and knocking them out. So, I mean, 
this guy right here could be one of those guys with that amazing speed that he has. The punch that hurts you is the one that you don't see really. So and, and he's got that speed. You know, and I'm going to talk to Dan Ray, Rayfield of uh, ESPN because he lists his pound for pound top 10 fighters and it starts with Roman Gonzalez and it goes to Gennady Golovkin, then Sergey Kovalev, and then Andre Ward, then Canelo Alvarez. But as an afterthought, after the top 10, one of the guys on his list, actually the second guy, is Vasil Lomachenko. So I think that I'm going to call him tonight and tell him I think he should move him in. <laughs> well, he's got he's got a good eye. <laughs> let me tell you. I mean, you know, this kid is a, a, he he's got he's got the tools. He's got everything. So. I think anybody would have been impressed with his with his performance tonight. The Ukrainian Olympic team member, a two-time world amateur championship uh, guy in 2009, 2011 champion. And of course, the two-time Olympic gold medalist, WBO featherweight champion, and now the WBO junior lightweight champion. And setting a new mark, doing it in his seventh career fight as a pro, his second world title. Christina Poncher is standing by with Vasil Lomachenko. Let's go to Christina in the ring. Vasily, congratulations on a spectacular knockout victory tonight. You seemed emotional after the fight. How much did this win mean to you? You said I could ask you afterwards. Она говорит, что я могу уже после боя спросить, что ты у тебя появились какие-то эмоции сразу после боя. Что для тебя это значит победа это? Вы знаете, я я очень сильно был рад, потому что до этого боя была проделана огромная работа, очень большая работа. Я потратил очень много сил, как психологически, так и физически, поэтому после такой тяжелой работы я был очень рад, что я выиграл именно так. I was very happy with the performance because I put a lot of work as uh, mentally, as physically. It was a, we did a lot of work for it. I prepared for that bout very, very long time, and I, I, you know, I, I came in and I did my best, so it means a lot to me. One of the things we talked about yesterday, and you told me I couldn't ask you until after the fight, was what it means to you to be able to make history. With your win tonight, you captured two world titles in two different weight divisions in only seven fights. The first fighter ever to do that. When you reflect back now in the brief moments, what does that mean to you to be able to make history? Вчера мы с тобой разговаривали, но ты сказал, давайте будем говорить после боя, что для тебя значит, что ты сделал историю бокса, что ты сейчас выиграл и у тебя пояс в двух весовых категориях. В первую очередь я хотел бы поблагодарить Бо Парума за то, что он где он помог мне это сделать. Если бы он мне не дал этот шанс, я сделал бы это на восьмой, на девятой, я никогда в жизни этого не сделал бы. Поэтому огромное спасибо за то, что он предоставил мне этот шанс, я им воспользовался. Какой вопрос? First of all, I wanted to thank Bob Aaron because he's the one who gave me this opportunity. If he would give me in an eight or nine round this opportunity, I would never would make a history. Bob Aaron, thank you very much. Well, Bob Aaron, you're here. What, what did you think about Vasily's performance? I'm telling you, Vasily Lomachenko is the greatest. We have a lot of great fighters in top rank, as you know. This young man is the greatest. He's uh, Muhammad Ali was the greatest of all time. Vasily Lomachenko is the greatest of our time. Наше время, он говорит, самый как бы и понял. He understands. Bob, Bob, part of the problem is he wants to fight more, but we can't get guys that want to fight yes, Lomachenko. What are you looking at? <laughs> it's there's it's it's one. We can get anybody we want to fight him. There's one word that's important, M-O-N-E-Y. You pay a guy enough, no fight him. <laughs> he understands. Vasily, congratulations Thank tonight's spectacular much. knockout victory. I know you're not happy with the little marks on your face, but... Next hope. time I try, I try to be able to be that one. Yeah, next time, next time I'm going to try. I, I, I'm not going to have any bruises on my face. I don't know. It's hard to see you go any more than up, but we're, we're excited to see you again. We appreciate your performance tonight, and we look forward to seeing you again in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bob? Vasil, we, we have the famous Madison Square Garden photographer wants... All right. Um, um, they, want a, they want some pictures. You guys, back to you. He's a celebrity over here. You know it. What a night here at Madison Square Garden, the theater. <laughs> it opened up with... The three judges in the house. So Shemaine and 
Unfortunately, Ice Time is opponent to dance through the night. But it was Shemig that won easily. Well, that he was a shutout. As, as he was moving around, he was listening to the music. And that's why he kept dancing through the night. But uh, it didn't go too well for him. So, I mean, next time he won't dance that much. He spent too much time trying to tie up Shemig by picking him up. And so the two-time Olympic gold medalist spent the evening chasing him all around the ring and doing a pretty good job of doing that. Ended up winning by a unanimous decision, 189 of all three foul. cards. And then we had Felix Verdejo against Juan Jose Martinez. And everyone was looking for Felix to bounce back. And oh, he did. That, that right hand, they did. They, they, they was him there. And he was looking for the opportunity to, to, to hurt this guy good so he could take him on. And he didn't let it go. Once he saw that opportunity, he came upstairs, downstairs, and he just finished it. And a fifth round stoppage by Felix Verdejo, who remains undefeated 22 0 with 15 kills. And we concluded the night with spectacular showmanship and an unbelievable performance by Vasil Lomachenko against Rocky Martinez. I, I see Rocky. Rocky is like kind of surprised at the speed and the movement that this kid has in front of him. And, you know, he trying to figure him out and trying to do things, but it wasn't working for him. This, this kid is amazing. He's a true world champion. So Lomachenko makes history, becoming a two-time world champion the shortest period of time ever. Just seven professional fights with a thunderous one-two knockout. And it came at one on nine of the fifth round, and now he's got the belt, the junior lightweight belt in the WBO as well as the WBO featherweight title. What's he going to do? Where's he going to go? Will he take on Salido again? Christina Poncher, what do you think? I'm speechless. <laughs> You know, it, it's just, I've never seen Rocky Martinez get knocked out like that. He right. got stopped by Mike, Mikey Garcia, but that was vicious one-punch knockout power. And that's the one thing people said they wanted to see if Lomachenko had was the knockout power. And he answered those questions. He, he, he has it. Martinez, when he fought all these other guys, then he had that quickness and that smartness that this kid had. This kid is amazing. Great night. He's a, he's a great champion, and my congratulations. Great working with you guys. I'm Bruce Speck, along with Christina Poncher of Juan Laporte, saying good night from the theater at Madison Square Garden. Hey, Hope hey. you enjoyed it, everyone. Well, you know it's a good round.